Good morning again, actually, good evening. Um, when I finished my message earlier and I went right to my benediction, I made a mistake. I had not printed out my pastoral prayer. And so for those of you who are thinking, Pastor Elizabeth's kind of strange, she didn't pray. Um, I follow a script with this Zoom stuff. And so I just wanted to make sure that we had our opportunity to pray. So let us be in the spirit of prayer. O oh God, our help in ages past, we come to you burdened with worries, fears, doubts, and troubles. Calm and quiet us with peace of mind. Empty us of our anxiety that disturbs, of the concerns that weary our spirit and weigh heavy on our hearts. Loosen our grip, dear Lord, on the disappointments and grievances we hold on to so tightly and release us from the pain of past hurts, of present anger and tension, of future fears, and all that distracts us from you. You are a great God who cares for each and every one of us. Help us to see your transformative power again in even the smallest of things. Transfigure and transform us into more Christ-shaped vessels of your love or justice peace, and mercy. Let the world see and know us as changed. As we enter into a season of contemplation of your ongoing shimmering presence in our lives, remind us to consider always our response to you. This morning, we celebrate in joy all those to whom meals were delivered. We celebrate the joy of, of giving, and of the joy of seeing people we have not seen in so long. And we lift up in prayer this morning, all who are ill, who are sick, of mind, body, and spirit, those who are in treatment for illnesses, and those who are on the road to recovery. We now offer up the silent prayers that are in our hearts, but that are known only by you. As your son taught us, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 